Hey guys, this is Joseph from joesmastery.com and welcome back to another WordPress tutorial. So in this episode, we're going to be covering what is and how to create a page template. So without further ado, let's get started. So a page template is basically a special type of page. So for example, some pages may have sidebars, left or right, and some pages might just be full width without a sidebar. Now you can style this however you like and you can name it however you like, and today I'll show you how. So, go in your folders, go to local disk, xamp, hdocs, uh, your wordpress, wp content, themes, and retro. In this case it's mine, my, my theme's called retro. So you're, you're greeted with all your files. So what you want to do, you want to create a new folder called page templates. And inside this folder, you want to make a new, actually, we'll get out of here. We'll use sublime text now. And we'll go create a new one and save it in here. We'll call this right sidebar. PHP. So now basically our page templates they are mostly going to be based off our page.php so I'm going to copy everything here and paste it in here. So we want, we want a sidebar on this one right so by inner content so I want to indent this and right here we're going to add content left just like our blog how we did this. Okay. Um, is this what's this for? Oh yeah, okay. This is the blog. Yeah. Okay. And then underneath the content left tag, we're gonna add a content right for the sidebar. And we go PHP get sidebar. Save it. And now if we go into our page here, and we refresh. Uh, we're going to be starting the about page. You can see in the page app attributes. No wait, let's see what did I do. Oh yeah, I forgot to do something. Okay, so now we've created our file, and we've def and we've customized some aspects. We need to name it and tell WordPress that this is the page template. So above your PHP get header, add another PHP tag, and all you got to do is just add a comment saying template name and we're going to call this right sidebar save it refresh the page and look over here you now have a boxing template a drop down I'm going to click on it and click on right sidebar update and now check it out that's right, oops, there's one thing that we forgot to do. Now when we're floating left and right, because these two both have float elements, make sure you have a clear fix at the end. That was a mistake. Refresh the page. And boom, you now have a sidebar on the right. So let's create the full width. So for the full width, all you gotta do, because our page.php is full width, Let's add a PHP tag here and comment it saying template name full, full width. Save it. Refresh this page and template full width. So you can click on full width. Update. Refresh the page and boom. It's that easy. Now keep in mind that page.php is the default template. So if you want the right sidebar to be the default template, then switch things around. Switch page.php with and rename this full width. But I would like the full width to be uh, default. Another commonly used template is whether you want your post to be full posts or excerpts, and how you want your posts, your blog posts, to be to look like. So at the moment, 
it says here front page display now this is a setting here and we chose a static page so we only uh, we are only limited to one post page now we don't want that so we're going to switch over to your latest posts now don't be like changed by this title because that our front page does not have to be your latest posts okay we're just going to save that i'll show you what i mean later and now let's talk about the blog loop now the blog loop outputs whatever is what whatever the content is for the page so for example a blog loop in a page i'll show you here a blog loop in a page it you can see here the blog it outputs the content and the content is the page content however in index.php this blog loop because we set it as because index.php is the default blog page template so whenever you are calling a blog it'll always refer to index.php okay but there's a way to avoid that and that is by using another snippet of code so let's say you want to do let's say okay let's just do some changing up and down i hope this is not confusing it's pretty confusing so now our home page is index.php and if we go to blog it's going to be nothing there okay because at the moment it's not set as the posts page so i'll give you another example here i'm going to make a page template with the blog thing so i'm going to copy everything here in index.php and index.php is going to change in future episodes as the home page so i'm going to make a new file save it inside page templates and we're going to call this blog excerpt dot php we're going to paste it in and if we save it and we edit this page changing the template to oh wait my bad i forgot to do something make sure you define the template name blog and in brackets excerpt save it refresh the page and now you should see blog excerpt now if you go update and you go view page it only shows a blog now this is because wordpress thinks this is just a page and it's only going to output output the contents which and there's nothing inside the contents you can see here so what what we need to do is we need to add some we need to change the blog loop all right so what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this and we're going to go php query post and this is going to get the posts and we want posts per page and we want every single post in this like all posts so if we want one post we'll do one two posts two but if we want all the posts you do negative one not don't ask me why it's just a rule semicolon and now we're gonna add a while loop and we're gonna while have posts okay then display the post and close close php tags here so this here is what what we just wrote down and down here the end while we also need to go double p reset query and wait a second let me just do something p yeah so we'll get rid of this while because it's not really needed at the moment and this if say so just make sure you have a post so save our document and now if we refresh the page just like that we see our blog so that's pretty cool because now we have two blog pages you can see one blog here and if we go back another blog so uh, with this in mind we can do different things so we now we have a template blog excerpt and we can make a new file 
save it here as blog full post.php. Copy everything from blog excerpts and change the template name. And instead of the excerpts, if you can find it, um, where did it go? Here. Change it to the content. Save it. I'm going to edit the page and change it to blog full posts. Update. Refresh the page. And boom, just like that, you get the whole post page. Just like that. So now that is what we, that is good. So we, we have created our page templates. A full width, right sidebar, blog, full post, excerpt. And now we're not limited to just one blog post, which is also awesome. However, if we go to our home page, this is also the blog. Now let's change that. We can get rid of this by simply editing the index.php into how we like it. So on the future episodes, we're going to be um, making a slider in the home page, maybe a few latest posts, um, most popular posts, etc. And yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. I hope this video wasn't too confusing for you guys. And I'll see you later. Peace. So after looking at back at my footage, I realized what I recorded was pretty confusing. So basically, we changed the settings to latest posts, all right? Because if we had a static page, we would have to choose a post page and a home page. Therefore, we had to have a post page. So now we got rid of the post page and just had a home page. So now people can, if they if they want a page to be a blog, they can just change the page template. So that just makes it easier and we can have different page templates. Thank you.